Hey there. So we're going to take a look at our notes on uh, chromosomes and karyotypes. Um, this is packet pages 84 and 80. So I've gone ahead and I have glued down packet page 84 into my notebook. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on those notes. If you need to pause the video for a second to glue in your notes, you are more than welcome to. So when we talk about chromosomes, right, um, one of the biggest misconceptions is that um, more complex organisms have more chromosomes than simple organisms. And that is just not true at all, right? No, just because humans are more, you know, complex or just because we're bigger doesn't mean we have more chromosomes than um, an organism that might be smaller, like an ant or a cat or something. Um, so the number of chromosomes does not have any correlation um, with how you know, smart or big or complex an organism is. Um, there are two types of chromosomes, right? We have autosomal chromosomes, and then we have sex chromosomes. So the chromosomes that determine the sex of the organism, right, and those can be either X or Y, those are the sex chromosomes, right? It's the, the function is in the name. Sex chromosomes determine sex. Um, if you have two Xs, right, you are um, female. If you are XY, then you are um, a male. The non-sex chromosomes that do not determine the sex of the organism, those are autosomal chromosomes, right? So these chromosomes basically contain the genes for everything else, um, hair color, eye color, skin color, height. Um, do you carry a gene in your family for cancer? You know, do you carry the gene for lactose intolerance? You know, anything like that, right? That's going to be in your other, your non-sex chromosomes. Now, the average human, right, we should have 22 pairs of autosomal chromosomes. And then we should have one pair of sex chromosomes for a total of, right, 23 pairs of chromosomes, Okay. Um, right, I could have also um, written that out as saying um, 44 autosomes, two sex chromosomes. So here, let me kind of put that in parentheses. So 44 autosomal, two sex chromosomes, right, for a grand total of 46 chromosomes in our genome. Okay, so again, total 46 chromosomes or 23 pairs. So ho hopefully that wasn't um, confusing. I just wanna make sure we understand that we can count chromosomes as pairs or as you know individually. Um, when we count the chromosomes as pairs, we say they are homologous. Homologous chromosomes. So, Homologous chromosomes are chromosome pairs, right? One from each parent, mom and dad, that are similar in length, gene position, and centromere location. The position of the genes on each homologous chromosome is the same. However, the genes may contain different alleles, right? Or different versions. So for example, we have a homolog homologous pair of chromosomes here. Right, the one on the left came from mom, the one on the right came from dad. So this could be chromosome one, it could be chromosome five, chromosome 10, chromosome 17, right? But we have two copies, right, of every chromosome. So let's say that this is chromosome one, okay, just for the sake of this um, discussion. So the gene for eye color, right, it's gonna be in the same, uh, the same position Right? And the chromosomes are going to be the same size, but maybe the gene for eye color that you got from mom is, you know, blue eye version, but from dad, the eye color version you got is for brown eyes, right? And so then that's when we would need to get into some genetics to figure out what is your actual eye color if mom gave you the blue eye version and dad gave you the brown eye version. Um, and of course, we'll get into that a little bit later. 
but homologous chromosomes, right? They are just the same pair of chromosomes. So chromosome one. And so they contain the same genes, just different versions of those genes. Over here on the right, um, we're talking about karyotypes. A karyotype right, is a photograph of all the chromosomes in a cell for that organism. Karyotypes are really um, useful, right? They can let us see all 46 chromosomes or 23 pairs. And they can tell us two things about that individual. Um, they can tell us the sex of that individual, right? Whether they are um, male or female. And they can also tell us if that person has a chromosomal disorder. So if the individual has a chromosomal disorder. Um, right, so in the previous unit, we talked about non disjunction, right? A type of mutation that occurs when the chromosomes do not separate properly during meiosis, right? And so then this results in an egg or a sperm that gets an extra chromosome that it shouldn't have, right? Maybe an extra chromosome 12 or an extra chromosome um, 18. And that can result in a chromosomal disorder, right? The most common that you've probably heard of, you know, is Down syndrome. So normal humans, right, we should have, let's say, right, 22 pairs of autosomes, and then we should have one pair of sex chromosomes, right? And then 22 plus one is 23 pairs for a total of 46. If any chromosomes are missing or added, the person will have a chromosomal uh, disorder, right? They could have something like um, Down syndrome or Edwards syndrome where they have um, an extra or missing chromosome. Um, so for example, down here, right, we have a healthy male and a healthy female karyotype, right? And so here is that photograph we were talking about, right? A photograph of all the chromosomes in a cell. And I can see, right, homologous pair one, homologous pair two, three, right? All the way through the first 22 chromosomes, which I know are autosomes. And then that last pair, the 23rd pair, are the sex chromosomes. And because this 23rd pair has an X and a Y chromosome as its pair, I know that it has to be male. Um, I can also see in the karyotype that the chromosomes are arranged kind of from largest to smallest, right? Chromosome pair one is very large. And chromosome pair 22 is very tiny. Um, so karyotypes not only show us a picture of all the chromosomes, but they put them in order um, so that we can see everything that's there. So <clears throat> in a healthy male and a healthy female karyotype, right, we see 22 pairs of autosomes. And then that last 23rd pair of sex chromosomes, either XY for male or XX for female. If... <clears throat> excuse me, if someone has Down syndrome, right, we say that they have a trisomy, right? Tri meaning three. So trisomy 21, right? Here's chromosome 21. And we can see they have an extra copy of chromosome 21. So this person, right, they had non-disjunction of either the egg or the sperm which resulted in an extra chromosome 21 being passed on from either a uh, dad or a mom. And that caused this uh, individual to have Down syndrome. Now it's only Down syndrome if you have an extra copy of chromosome 21. Um, if you have an extra copy of any other chromosome, that would be a different name, a different genetic disorder. Or if you only had one copy of chromosome 21, Again, that would be a completely different genetic disorder. 
So the number of chromosome that you have, right? Do you have something extra or something missing? And then the actual chromosome number, right? That will determine what type of genetic disorder um, it is. So for example, uh, so 21, 20, 19, I think it's chromosome 18. If you have trisomy 18, right? That's called Edwards syndrome. Um, or if you are uh, missing your second sex chromosome, let's say you only have one X chromosome, right? That is called Turner syndrome. So each chromosome kind of has its own disorder associated with whether something's extra or something is missing, okay? If you have any questions about this page, please let me know. I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next page, um, packet page 80. We're gonna take a look at a couple uh, karyotypes. So I'm gonna turn my notebook sideways just for a second. Um, <clears throat> actually here, I'll do, I'll do that in a second. But again, I've got a karyotype right, right here. And there, I can see my homologous chromosomes, right? The copy, the two copies of each chromosome laid out in the karyotype from largest to smallest. And then of course I have my 23rd pair, which are my sex chromosomes. So I see that this individual has um, two copies of the X chromosome. So this would be a normal female. That's why I was wanting to turn my notebook sideways. <laughs> so 22 autosomes or 22 pairs of autosomes and then two X chromosomes gives me a normal female. And then down here below, again, I see 22 uh, pairs of autosomes. This individual has a Y chromosome and an X chromosome. So they must be a normal male, all right? Because they have an X and a Y. And then our last karyotype over here on the right, uh, we wanna know what is the sex of this person? And we know that that, right, 23rd pair of chromosomes, right, those are our sex chromosomes. This person has two X chromosomes, right? There's nothing over here in the Y spot. So I know that this is a female. How do I know? Um, because there are two X chromosomes. And then will they have any disorders? And how do you know? So if I take a look at my homologous pairs, Right, I see so far everything has just two copies like it should, uh, except for right here. So there's an extra chromosome 21. So will they have any disorders? Yes, they will have Down syndrome, right, which we know is also called trisomy 21 because there is an extra copy of chromosome 21, right? There's three copies when there's only supposed to be two. So that's it for our notes here on karyotypes and chromosomes. And again, this was packet page 80 and 84 that I put into my notebook. Uh, make sure you take a picture of your notes and submit them to Canvas. If you have any questions or concerns about these notes, please let me know. Thanks.